There are brand new revelations tonight in the arrest of Paul Whelan. He's the Novi man who is sitting in a prison in Russia accused of espionage. Our Rod Maloney spoke with Paul's brother at length today, and Rod, he shared concerns about Whelan's Russian attorney. Yeah, that, we'll get to that in just a second, Devin, but imagine this, okay? Your brother, your twin brother, goes off to Russia to help friends with a wedding. He's there for a week. He's driving around town, helping them, show them around, and so forth. And then all of a sudden, the day of the wedding comes along, and he's not there. Well, David, Paul's brother, is nervous now. He's trying to figure out what's going on. He's wondering, perhaps, is he dead? So he goes online and starts doing a search to try and find out about his brother, and this is what he found. I had been looking for things like uh, American killed in Moscow, American in a car crash, anything like that. Uh, so, I mean, on the one hand, we were happy that he was alive, um, but it was uh, just remarkable to think that he had been picked up as a spy. Something David and his family absolutely believe is not true, despite the odd questions about Paul having four passports and working in corporate security. David says his Irish grandparents moved their family to England. Paul's dad and mom moved to Canada, where Paul and David were born. Then they emigrated to the United States. And when Irish passport rules changed about 10 years ago, David tells us Paul had a contest with his sister about getting that Irish passport. The, the whole concept of a game was really which one of them would do it first. It wasn't that they were going to try and get more and more passports. It was really just about, you know, who's going to get to uh, have a, an Irish passport first out of the two of them. Paul also had a company called Kingsmead Arsenal, a five-person weapons manufacturer that you can find online. But David tells Local 4 News Kingsmead was actually the name of the farmhouse his parents live in out in Manchester, Michigan. Paul spends lots of time here with his parents, and David discounts the gun company as another link to any spycraft. I've heard him use the name of the company before. Uh, I don't believe, I don't know for a fact, but I don't believe the company exists. Uh, I don't believe it has five employees. And David is quite concerned about the new twist in this case, Paul's Russian appointed lawyer. It appears that the lawyer that uh, Paul has, um, his son was one of the investigators on the team that detained Paul over the weekend. And so, so uh, we now have a lawyer who has a, uh, who's defending someone who the son is on the investigation team. I mean, it would never happen in the States. You, you've got such a conflict of interest there. It just becomes more and more bizarre every time we turn a corner. And so you can well imagine he's deeply concerned about getting Paul out of that prison as quickly as he can, the KGB prison in Russia. Now, the family is working together, and they are doing everything they can. Paul did ask when he met with uh, the Huntsman, the uh, U.S. ambassador to Russia on Friday, for the other company, uh, the other countries, uh, Canada, Ireland, and England, to get involved on a consular level to try and get him out of the prison. And he, he did ask for that. The Russians have now granted that, they tell us. And so it's possible that those consulates could be meeting with him later on this week. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4.